because Allah is the only one who can answer. The Prophet said in the Hadith Qudsi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends to the lower heaven in the last third of every night and says, Is there anyone asking me for something so that I will answer him? Is there anyone repenting back to me and I will accept his repentance? Is there anyone asking for my forgiveness and I will forgive him? In the next part of the khutbah, we're just going to continue the, uh, on the advice given to uh, Ibn Abbas from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل من فاستغفروا إنه هو بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم the third lesson that we conclude from this hadith is that we must put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be certain that if all the people came, came to benefit somebody, they will not be able to do unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already ordained that, act, ordained that action to happen. And if all the people came together to harm somebody with something, they will not be able to do so unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already ordained it to happen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Say, nothing shall ever happen to us except what Allah has ordained for us. He is our Mawla and in Allah let the believers put their trust. The saying of the Prophet and know that victory comes with patience, relief with affliction, and ease with hardship, informs Ibn Abbas and every Muslim to consider that man in this world will be presented with trials and misfortunes, especially the pious, due to the statement from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And certainly, we shall test you with something of fear, hunger, loss of wealth, lives, and fruits, but give glad tidings to them. Glad tidings to us the patient ones, who when disaster strikes, they say, Indeed we belong to Allah, and indeed to Him we will return. It is they who will receive blessings and mercy from Allah, and it is they who are the guided ones. Victory comes with patience, relief comes after suffering, and ease comes after hardship. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the right path and support us. Ameen.